three. Hello drivers and guides. Uh, this is a short video about how to set local time on your tachograph and also on your dashboard. Now we'll go through it step by step. The first thing um, I do is switch on the ignition so we have a screen there. Normally you have the kilometers on the main screen and that's the case now as it is off. Once I switch it on it will ask for a card. So ignore it um, because the menu will be still the same and I just haven't put in my card because we're not going anywhere. Um, have a look on the dash. The time at the moment is 17.18 here and 17.18 also on the dash. You cannot change the time on the dashboard because it all goes through the tachograph. That's synchronized and connected. What you do is, oh we've got the main screen here again now. What you then do is press OK to get into the menu and you're now in the menu printout and the second line always goes vehicle, driver 1, driver 2, vehicle, driver 1, driver 2, vehicle and then it goes from menu to menu. Now we are in the menu printout but that's not what we want to do. We don't want to print out. We would like to make an entry. So you've got entry, driver 1, driver 2, vehicle and that you do by pressing the up and down button. It doesn't matter whether you scroll up or downwards, you just go around in a circle then. Um, so we make an entry to the vehicle and need to confirm this as it is flashing. That wants to be confirmed and say yes. Now, we are in the vehicle menu, but we don't want to set it to out of scope. So we we'll scroll down again here, or up. We can also scroll up if you want. And you have several options. And one of the options is local time. And that's what we would like to set, the local time we would like to adjust here. So we'll press this one. And this is the flashing time. Uh, this is UTC, as it says, Universal Time Coordinated, normally Greenwich Mean Time, not summer time. And 1720 is what it is right now, so if you would like to set it to winter time, for example, you can do this in half an hour steps by scrolling up, scrolling up or down, as you can see here. So if you want to set it to 1820, you scroll until it says 1820, and you say OK and the time will have changed. Now you can go, you can either now drive off, it will go back to the main menu anyway, or you just go do it manually, press the go back button unless you, and until you get this message here. Leave the main menu and it says now 1821. I'm going to set it back because um, it's the incorrect time. Sorry, print out entry, driver 1, driver 2, vehicle, let's press OK. Um, just scroll up, I think it's a shorter way to get there. Uh, vehicle local time. So we would like to reduce. So go down in the time a little bit. You're going down, you press the down button, 1721. And that's the time we want. We confirm it. Entry stored. And then you're still in the menu, but we can get out of it now uh, using the escape button here. Press OK. And we are back to the main screen. Whenever you change something here with your local time, it also changes on the dashboard, so that's synchronized. That's all, and that's also f that's only for the video taco, the Stone Ridge tacos. Should you come across one, they are different, and the best thing is to have a look at your taco simulator that I send around to hopefully all of you by email. Thank you.